Air One is an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft designed for individual ownership. Four pylons with rotors on each provide lift, while wings and a double tail stabilizer keep the vehicle in the air. The developers have claimed a decent cruising speed of up to 250 km per hour. At this rate, Air One can fly for about an hour. The battery is designed for a range of 177 km. For landing, there is retractable landing gear, and a retractable transparent canopy protects the pilot and passenger with a glass panel beneath the cabin for improved visibility. Air is developing its own smart control system, promising extremely easy flights and quick training. The project also incorporates an artificial intelligence-based monitoring system that will conduct regular diagnostics instead of pilots, detect malfunctions, and ensure safety. The prototype has already been tested, including the control system. The single-seat Heaviside, like many future flying cars, is fully electric and offers two modes of control. It can reach speeds of up to 354 km per hour and is extremely maneuverable. Heaviside is capable of flying in both autonomous and manual modes, although most flight tasks in manual mode are handled by the computer rather than the pilot. Among its advantages, developers highlight its mobility. The aircraft can take off and land in almost any location, and it operates with a low noise level. The Heaviside aircraft has a large plexiglass dome, providing an unrestricted view in all directions for the passenger. During testing, the fast and powerful aircraft successfully completed more than 237 hover-to-forward flight transitions while maintaining approximately 25% of its battery charge in reserve. What happens if you combine an airplane and a helicopter? The Pitero Dynamics company decided to check this out. The XP-4 is a unique and patented giant quadcopter that can maneuver both as an airplane, with wings extended outward, and as a helicopter. When it's time to land, the wings fold up and eventually rest against the sides. This transformation is made possible thanks to the dihedral hinges on which the wings rotate. The transition between modes is aerodynamically favorable, straightforward, and most importantly, smooth. The main advantage of the XP-4 lies in its ability to fly as fast as a conventional airplane while landing on a compact helicopter pad. Currently, it's just a prototype with a 4-meter wingspan. The full-scale version will be several times larger, making it suitable for cargo transportation. Featuring a distinctive exterior, vertical takeoffs and landings, and at least three interior configuration options, we're talking about a project by German engineers called the Lilium Jet. Not only is it super maneuverable and quite fast due to its unique design, but it's also fully electric. The first prototypes were tested back in 2015, and now as you can see, the aircraft is flying above runways and fields. Designed for two passengers, the aircraft, as claimed by the developers, has successfully executed several complex maneuvers, including its signature transition in the air from vertical takeoff mode to winged flight mode. The aircraft is capable of taking off and landing vertically, making it an ideal solution for urban mobility due to the lack of need for a runway. In other words, the Lilium Jet has everything a flying taxi needs. It picks you up wherever you are and takes you where you want to go. Urban Aeronautics plans to soon launch the Cormorant UAV with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities into mass production. What sets it apart is that this drone will run on hydrogen fuel, not electricity. The UAV was specifically developed for military needs, since delivering ammunition to remote and inaccessible areas consumes significant resources and time today. Additionally, such a vehicle will be used to evacuate the wounded from the battlefield. It will enable medics to quickly reach the injured, and inside there is enough space to load a soldier and provide immediate medical assistance. Vertical takeoff and landing are achieved through two fans positioned parallel to the ground within the UAV's body. Horizontal movement is controlled by two vertical thrust propellers at the tail. The drone is capable of reaching speeds of up to 180 km per hour, then can stay airborne for an incredible five hours. The name of this vessel literally means a flying ship, and there's nothing more to add. This concept was developed to improve maritime logistics in order to find a golden mean between transporting cargo by water and by air, as well as enable smart, safe, and environmentally friendly autonomous and semi-autonomous operations with real-time vessel system monitoring and reactive collision avoidance. The drone courier is entirely electric, and it is much faster than any cargo ferries. The company claims that they are 10 times faster than boats and cost one quarter to maintain and operate compared to airplanes. 
these patent-pending flying ships has hybrid electric propulsion and can reduce vehicle costs, as well as improve fuel efficiency. The company is planning to deploy the first solutions in the European Union, connecting the Greek islands with a faster and more cost-efficient solution to moving goods and materials. Avidrone has introduced a new type of cargo drone. Its appearance resembles two separate drones that have been joined together. This unique tandem rotor flight technology provides exceptional endurance and payload capacity. This drone can fly for up to one and a half hours and carry up to 25 kilograms of payload. The range and speed are impressive as well. At a speed of 100 kilometers per hour, the drone can cover a distance of 120 kilometers with a flight time of 90 minutes. During flight, the Avidrone 210TL adheres to a pre-planned route or can be adjusted and customized further using a dedicated autopilot system application. Avidrone serves as a good example of a specialized cargo drone capable of swiftly conducting large-scale deliveries in a relatively short period, making it its main advantage. Air taxis in the form of sports cars are certainly cool, but what about traveling in such a bubble? The Stratosfera Volatile, a lightweight electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, can accommodate up to two passengers for a unique and wonderful airborne journey. Designed by an Italian engineer, this ultralight sphere made of carbon fiber has been adapted for movement not only in the air, but also on roads and even water. Although the maritime version is ready for deployment, more complex international and national civil aviation regulations apply to this aircraft in the private aviation sector. Deployment will occur after clearer rules are established. Volt Aero is taking electric aircraft to an entirely new level. Benefiting from 50 plus years of combined pioneering expertise, Volt Aero is developing a truly unique general aviation airplane family Casio for quiet, safe, efficient, and eco-friendly flight in hybrid electric and electric modes. The combination of fuel and batteries will give it a range of 1,200 kilometers with nine people aboard. It can fly up to 200 kilometers as a pure electric aircraft, 200 to 600 kilometers as a battery-assisted light hybrid, and more than 600 kilometers using its combustion engine. It will also have a minimum flight duration of 3.5 hours. The motors have built-in dedicated control electronics, while the lithium-ion batteries for the motors are integrated into the Casio's wings. Each motor provides a continuous power of 45 kilowatts and a maximum power of 70 kilowatts and ensures silent takeoffs and landings for eco-friendly operations. Write in the comments which of these flying concepts you like the most. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. See you soon.